NRL CEO Dave Smith has joined the heads of four of Australia's largest sporting bodies in a united front against homophobia, pledging to introduce new, stronger diversity and inclusiveness policies. Each will be based around a newly created anti-homophobia framework and will be aimed at eliminating the issue and other forms of discrimination within each respective sport. Smith says rugby league is committed to making individuals feel welcome at all levels of the game. It's why the NRL plays a prominent role in Harmony Day in the western suburbs, why we have a close the gap round and why we have a women in league round. It's why role models like Greg Inglis and Jess Palmer uh, are here from the Gillaroos today because men and women from every background are part of our game. The codes, including the Australian Rugby Union, AFL, Football Federation of Australia and Cricket Australia, have agreed to introduce new policies by the end of August this year. We want Australian rugby to be an environment where everyone is treated with respect and dignity as part of our desire to create a truly diverse and inclusive Australian rugby community. The central tenet of the spirit of the game of cricket talks about respect. It talks about respect of your opponents, respect of your teammates. And that is a central key theme of, of what we're all talking about today. The occasion marks the very first time all the major professional sports in Australia have united in an effort to tackle discrimination based on sexual orientation. This launch is just another important step in the journey towards a level playing field for all people who simply aspire to compete or be involved in their chosen sport. Sport has a great opportunity to raise awareness about this issue and must take that responsibility seriously. Vilification of, of um, any description is just not acceptable. And I think where it raises its ugly head, then you will increasingly see the NRL respond and respond firmly. International superstar and Rabbitohs fullback Greg Inglis stood as an ambassador and says it's great to see these sporting codes leading the way for the rest of the world. You know, not just an example for younger kids, but an example for everyone that's involved in, you know, even beyond the scenes of rugby league. And you know, it's more importantly that we get this message across and you know, keep continuing with it. World Cup winning Jillaroo Jess Palmer says it's a step in the right direction. Sport is there for everyone to play and you know it's opening, opening up everyone's eyes to, to what it should be like and I think it's a fantastic initiative. The framework has been developed with and endorsed by the Australian Human Rights Commission, the Australian Sports Commission, the Gay and Lesbian Rights Lobby and the Human Rights Law Centre. Amy Lindsell, NRL.com.